right, guys. It's me, Tommy Z. Wrestling Mania, Wrestlemania recaps on Wrestling Recaps 1. Check us out, like us, uh, you know, subscribe, share it. And oh my god, I gotta say, it was a good freaking Wrestlemania, in my opinion. Now, uh, we're gonna start off. First match was for the number one contender spot, I guess you wanna call it, or second spot in a triple threat match, and that's uh, Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. And um, the winner of that match gets to go to the, uh, you know, whoever wins gets to be in the main event. Now, that match was pretty good. Now, I got to say that, you know, it started off slow, started off what an opening match should be. So I slowed and I started picking up. And they were focusing on Daniel Bryan's arm, well, Triple H was. And, man, it was a good match. It was good psychology. The winner of that match was Daniel Bryan. After that match, Triple H threw a little hissy fit. So he started being up on Daniel Bryan. Kept going after the arm. Trying to injure it more for the other two guys. So, you know, Daniel Bryan goes on to the main event. Next match was the authority. It was Kane and the New Age Outlaws versus The Shield. This is a three-way or six-man tag match. You right, Norm? Okay, good. We're all drinking. So, it was a good, quick, quick match, obviously. But, uh, you know, everyone was fine everywhere. The winners of the match was The Shield. It wasn't really too, you know, anything. Now, the next match was the Under the Giant 30-man Battle Royal. And it was pretty good. Um, the last three, I don't know. I think it was Tyson Kidd and a couple other guys. I don't know. I thought Robin Van Dam was going to be in it. But I didn't see him in it. It was uh, also, it was like about maybe 10 minutes or so. And... You know, at the end of the match, it was uh, Cesaro against uh, Big Show. I thought Big Show was going to win it. Actually, those two, Cesaro and Big Show, were my two top ones. And I thought, you know, Big Show was going to win just because, you know, it's the giant guy and he's the giant. So, but Cesaro wins. Everyone starts going crazy. And you should see, like I said before, if this becomes like... A yearly thing then they're gonna probably put it in the storylines or probably it's gonna elevate the winner of that match into a higher position in the company and the statue is pretty cool the trophy it looks almost like a Stanley Cup it's layered and stuff so they can put it on the you know the nameplates of the of the winner they should put it right there around it now uh, the next match was John Cena and Bray Wyatt now the opening for Bray Wyatt, his little entrance, was pretty cool. They had a voodoo theme because it was in New Orleans, and everybody was, you know, getting into it. Then they had the band that sang uh, the Wyatt family's theme song, and, you know, it was pretty good back and forth. Um, people were going crazy over it. It was nice. It was good. Uh, a little bit back and forth. The winner... Of that match, obviously, was John Cena. Now, the next match, wow, the next match. Next match was a surprise. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more later. But this match was Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Now Brock Lesnar and Undertaker both, you know, as time goes by, everyone knows Brock Lesnar was MMA, so he knows a little bit of submission style. Everyone knows that, you know, throughout uh, Undertaker's career, he did some MMA stuff, submission style wrestling, and that's what it was. It was a lot of back and forth submission style type matches. Um, they were countering the moves, they were reversing the moves. It was pretty good. Now the shocker, that pretty much had everyone in this house and everyone in the arena that was quiet for a good, what, five minutes, guys? Something like that? 
was that Brock Lesnar wins. Brock Lesnar broke the streak. Now that is something that a lot of people might be disappointed. That actually took the air out of the crowd and they didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think. I thought the referee screwed up because they didn't even ring the bell. And, you know, everyone had their hands on their heads or like they had the shock look. And they're like, what the hell? Did this really happen? Well, if it had to happen, Brock Lesnar had to win, I guess. But, uh, you know, this might be the end of Undertaker's career. As we know, it was coming. He's been in WWE for 24 years. So I got to say, you know, thanks, Undertaker, for everything. Now, the next match was kind of a bore. It was going to be a clusterfuck in the first place. It was a Divas match. It was AJ versus every Diva. And obviously, you know, trying to follow up after, after Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. Everybody was still shocked. Nobody was really into it. And, yeah, I can't really say too much. I mean, everyone was doing their little moves. And it was just too long. So, um, the winner of that match was AJ, and I gotta say, this finish was actually kind of cool, I liked, that I haven't seen in a while, um, outside of Lucha, that AJ did the octopus on Naomi, I think, and Naomi was, you know, up to one knee, so AJ grabbed her arm, without the referee looking, grabbed her free arm and started tapping to make it that, you know, Naomi was tapping, so AJ wins the title. Now the next match was the main event. It was Daniel Bryan who won against Triple H early in the night versus Randy Orton versus Batista. And it was a good match. Everybody was focusing on Daniel Bryan's arm. And they were going back and forth, back and forth. You know, they were they were pretty much beating the crap out of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan was trying to, you know, fend off everybody. But the best move of the night Actually, let's go back a little bit before I get into that. Triple H comes in the middle of the match. Pulls out the referee. Because Daniel Bryan has Randy Orton in the, in the yes lock. Pulls out the referee. Referee takes a bump. He sells it for a while. He brings in Scott, uh, Scott uh, Armstrong. Who, during the storyline, early in the storyline, that he screwed uh, Daniel Bryan out of the title. Now, so, basically, you know, they're being up, obviously, everyone thinks that, you know, Daniel Bryan's going to lose, Batista gives a Batista bomb, one, two, he kicks out, Daniel Bryan kicks out, and also, um, pretty much, Triple H gets upset, saying, looking at the ref, saying, what are you doing? Referee's pretty much saying, I got to count, he counted up to two, and the announcer is saying, well, he has to try to make it look legal, which was true. Um, so, Scott Armstrong looked over on Daniel Bryan to see if he was okay. Daniel Bryan kicks him in the head. Scott Armstrong takes a bump outside. And they're out for a little while. Then the regular referee comes in. I think it's Mike Kia, or not Mike Kia, I don't know. Little and H. I don't know. But the referee comes in the ring. So they're fighting, whatever. They go out to the outside. They're working on Daniel Bryan's arm for a little while longer. But the best move of the night was this Batista bump. Now they took out, they cleared out the, the regular announce table and also the Spanish announce table. They did, Batista got on one, Randy Orton had the steps, getting ready to go to the uh, Spanish announce table. Now Batista got Daniel Bryan on a Batista, it was a combo, it was a Batista bomb and RKO onto the Spanish announce table. Now the thing that looked devastating was as soon as the, as Randy Orton hit the table, he landed on the mon one of the monitors, and his back just kind of folded. It was it was crazy. Daniel Bryan um, was out for a while. They brought in the stretcher. People were booing. Batista and uh, Randy Orton looked, and they're like, you know, what the heck? It looked like it wasn't scripted. I don't know, but it's pro wrestling. So they put him on a stretcher. Batista and Randy Orton just continued the match to start beating up each other. All of a sudden, Daniel Bryan 
you know, as soon as they're getting ready to go up the ramp, Daniel Bryan gets off the stretcher, goes back into the match. Now, they're fighting. Uh, Randy Orton brings in uh, Daniel Bryan into the ring. They're fine for a little while. All of a sudden, they knock Daniel Bryan outside the ring. And then they keep uh, continue fighting Batista and Randy Orton. Now, Daniel Bryan comes back out of nowhere, puts Randy Orton in a yes lock. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Here comes uh, Randy Orton, he breaks it. All of a sudden, here comes, uh, uh, they start fighting again. Then uh, Daniel Bryan puts Randy Orton in a yes lock. And, you know, Dave Batista breaks it up. Uh, once again, throughout the master fighting for a couple more minutes. Thanks, Norm. So they start fighting for a couple minutes. Sorry. And then um, Daniel Bryan again gets Dave Batista in the yes lock. And Dave Batista taps out. So who wins? Daniel Bryan. What are you doing, Norm? <laughs> Now, Daniel Bryan wins the match. He is the new champion. So, <laughs> we're all drunk. So, that's it. That's with your WrestleMania 30 recaps. Like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, share. Also, check out our website, WrestleRecaps1.com. I'm Tommy Z, and uh, have a good one.